my wonderful people of God. It's an honor and a privilege to be with you again for another session of Open Heavens Reflection based on Open Heaven Guide written by Daddy E.A. Adeboye, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. My name is Lola Ayene and I'm a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God based in Waterslade in Chatham. We give God the glory to whom all blessings flow. Today we're looking at the eating source of blessing. The Bible passage we're focusing on today is Psalm 40, verse 14 to 17. It reads, Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor who wish me evil. Let them be confounded because of their shame who say to me, Ha, ha. Let all those who seek you Rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. I pray that someone out there is saying Amen, because I'm saying Amen to it. Let's look at the memory verse we need to really dwell on today. That is taken from Romans 8, verse 15. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Let's reflect on all the scriptures that we've read today. Psalm 71, verse 15 tells us that Every day, God acts for our good in ways we don't even know about. My mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds of salvation all the day. For the number is past my knowledge. The gem is in the middle of an elderly saint. Prayer, Sam. He walked with God since childhood. He met many troubles. He knows how to pray with hope and praise. He described his dilemma, recounted God's character, and recalled God's past help. And something happens. He remembers his purpose is to tell others what God has done for him. A purpose that old age can't rob him of. He announces how he's going to do just that. For God does so much for him in 24 hours that he doesn't even know the extent of God's help. What faith. The many ways he's seen God act assures him that God has acted invisibly too. Also in the Bible passage that we read earlier, the psalmist was also speaking in chapter 40, verse 16. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, the Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks about me, yet the Lord hears me, yet the Lord knows who I am. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, oh my God. This would not have been anything difficult to do for the woman of Zarephath, who met with God's favor, leading to continuous abundance during the time of intense famine. I pray for someone out there today, if you're going through any sort, kind of famine in your life, may Jehovah meet with you in Jesus' name. A source of blessing was a very lonely prophet whom she had never known before that time. God will surely send you hidden sources of blessing this season that will confound all who know you in the name of Jesus. May that be your testimony. May that be my testimony in Jesus' name. Let's say a prayer together. Father, shut the eyes of everyone that will contend with my blessing so that they will not see it in the mighty name of Jesus. May that be your testimony and mine in Jesus' name. Thank you and God bless you for watching.